Well, I'm now absolutely delighted to be joined by uh, Dr. Cameron Siddiqui from uh, York University. Cameron, welcome. Thank you very much. Thank it's you very pleasure. much for taking the time to talk to us. Really appreciate that. Now, now one of the, the many things that you've been working on is uh, the effects of uh, smokeless tobacco. What is smokeless tobacco? So smokeless tobacco is, a, uh, is a, actually a number of products, smokeless tobacco, which are consumed uh, orally and chewed without burning. So it's a form of uh, tobacco that's consumed without burning. And it comes in a whole variety of uh, forms. And it's consumed in many countries, most commonly in South and Southeast Asia. But uh, we're reporting for the first time that's actually consumed by 116 countries. Right. And how widespread is that consumption within those countries? So that is quite widespread from the US to South America, to Europe, to Africa, to South Southeast Asia. So it is actually quite common. Uh, it's a global problem, actually. And in the study that you uh, found, what were some of the effects you found? So we did a systematic review of the literature and we found that uh, it causes uh, oral cancer, cancer of the mouth, it causes cancer of the pharynx and cancer of esophagus. Uh, and it also causes ischemic heart disease, uh, which has been reported in the past, but not in the form of a systematic review. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, it causes a range of cancers and, and the heart disease. And, and are there any particular types of community that it affects the most? Uh, like I said, I mean, most of the evidence come from uh, Sweden, India, uh, Bangladesh and the US. Um, the challenge with smokeless tobacco is that not all forms of smokeless tobacco are as toxic or as hazardous. So, for example, the products that are used in the Scandinavian countries, mostly Sweden and Norway, they are not harmful. They're, they're uh, actually used as harm reduction products and uh, the levels of the uh, the cancer agents, uh, what we call is TSNAs, uh, they are actually quite low right. in those products. But on the other hand, if you go to the other end, uh, in India, those the, those uh, components are very high in smokeless pro products. So I think that the, the, the products that are used in India, for example, and also in Central Asia and in Africa, they are quite harmless, harmful, and and they cause cancer and, and ischemic heart disease. And what what can be done? So uh, I mean. It's basically implementing the Framework Convention for Tobacco Control uh, for smokeless tobacco. Um, for good reasons, uh, the Framework Convention has been focused on um, cigarettes and, and, and combustible forms of tobacco. Uh, but I think it's uh, important that we also focus on the smokeless tobacco. And I'm not suggesting that we have another framework for smokeless tobacco. I think Framework for Convention for Tobacco Control is an excellent framework. But I think it just needs to have the level of sophistication to be implemented to cover all forms of tobacco, including smokeless tobacco. So, so one of the findings of our study is that it causes about uh, more than a quarter of a million deaths in the world, and that's quite high. Um, and it also uh, causes disability, and we've estimated about 6.4 million disability adjusted life years that can be attributed to smokeless tobacco. Well, Cameron, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Really appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you very much. Pleasure. Thank you.